Hello everybody, this is Michael Smiley coming at you with another review video. Um, tonight I want to talk to you about Independence Day 1 and 2, Independence Day and Independence Day Resurgence. So, <clears throat> Independence Day really was an amazing science fiction movie, right? It had Will Smith, it had um, Jeff uh, Goldblum, it had um, so many talented and amazing actors and actresses. Uh, Vivica A. Fox. Um, yeah. And uh, so the first movie was really excellent, really well done, right? Um, the special effects were literally out of this world. Um, and it really, really was a qual uh, quality sci-fi movie. And it really was a masterpiece. It had everything. It had the director was amazing, the actors and actresses, the special effects, the pacing, the uh, realism of how it would be. Um, <clears throat> just everything really fell into place. It was really a magical movie. And, um, so then they waited to make the second one. So, Independence Day Resurgence has gotten a lot of flack, which, because a lot of people care about box office, but I'm not one of those people, unfortunately. That's what that movie needed in order to make a third one. But getting to that point, <clears throat> in my honest opinion... Independence Day Resurgence was an, an, an amazing movie. It was incredible. Um, it sucks with the way that they handled some of the original characters. Um, that's really a criticism that I do have about the movie. And I wish that Will Smith would have been in this. Um... But, sorry guys, it's, I'm tired and have a headache and it's really late, but, well, not really late, but feels like it's really late. Um, but, like, the special effects were amazing and the aliens and they introduced some new stuff and everything. It was really exciting. I really loved it. Um, I went to theaters and seen it. Um, <clears throat> and I'm really, really happy about that because I didn't get to see the first one in theaters, which is kind of depressing, but I was really little at the time, um, or a lot younger, and, um, at that time I didn't really, going to the movies wasn't a thing, you know, a thing like it is now. Um, so... This movie did an excellent job with building up the hype for a third one. The problem is is that the box office, it didn't do nearly as good as the first one. So I guess they're not doing a third one or they're waiting, whatever the case may be. But it's really sad and they should do a third one because they really leave it on a cliffhanger, which really sucks. And I hate cliffhangers more than anything. Um, because the second one builds up the third one so much, and the third one has so much potential, so much potential. If you've seen the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. There's so much potential for a masterpiece of a third one, if they do it right. If they would have done it right, if they were able to do it, if they're going to be able to do it. It would literally blow everyone's minds. I have a feeling. It's there. They have they have the right thing going for this franchise. And if they would have... Oh, the box office. Anyway, um... Yeah, I think that the third one would have been amazing. Um, and it's really sad that the second one 
really built up the hype of a third one, and the third one's not going to happen, unfortunately, unless something drastic happens. Um, if I were the president of the studio, even though the second one didn't make nearly as much as the first one, I still would do the third one, because people deserve closure, and I think that they would have rebounded big time, especially with the way that they um, hyped up the third one with the way that they built the story around things. Uh, so they could have, they could have, and they should have, and they should. Um, because there's so much potential. There's so much potential to continue with this great story, with this great franchise. And um, it's really sad that no one is grasping that or understands that because they really do have an amazing franchise on their hands and they're mishandling it over the box office quality over quantity people but <clears throat> it just sucks um that studios don't care about quality they care about quantity and money talks unfortunately so there's my review on independence day an Independence Day resurgence. Um, hopefully, at some point, they make a third one. Obviously, I will be there to see it in theaters first day because it's that amazing of a franchise. Um, and everyone should check it out. Highly recommend it. If you haven't seen the second one, and I've only seen the third, the third one, uh, the first one. Sorry. Please watch the second one. And. The more people talk about it, the more likely the case is that they'll make a third one. So, uh, you know, if you like my review, like, subscribe, comment. Um, I love this franchise, so we can talk about it all night if you want to. Um, you know, it's so amazing. It's great. So, check it out if you haven't. Have a great night, everybody.